So I'm pissed off. I mean, in a way. Okay, so let me explain. I was a full screen partner and YouTube back in January had this big mess where a lot of content creators who had less than a thousand subscribers and less than X amount of hours, watch time, whatever, they lost their partnership, whether it be with a network or with AdSense itself. And I didn't have the necessary watch hours, so I thought I was gonna get unpartnered. <clears throat> And I was actually really scared. One of my friends who actually is here on YouTube got this email that YouTube was sending out and that's why I was like, oh shit, you know, somebody I know this happened to and I also have this other friend who is thriving on YouTube and super successful so like, you know, I'm like sitting here in the middle not really knowing which way to go. I'm terrified I might get this email. And okay, so like let me justify this also. One of my other channels I had, I used to use, Dystopia, that was my username for a little while, not anymore, but that channel Channel also got the theme. So I was just kind of worried. I was scared that I was gonna get it on this channel here. Never got the email. Never got it. I thought I was in the clear. I was at work the other day, just, you know, working as one does, and I get an email from full screen saying this. Now let me, let me just, let me just tell you why that's an issue. So I signed on to full screen maybe a little over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, I'm not exactly sure, but I signed on to full screen over a year ago, I know that. And they never ever sent me any sort of like contract agreements or anything like that. They never sent me anything. They just kind of sent me an email being like, woohoo, you've been accepted to full screen. You're a partner, here you go. Here's how you can log into the creator network. This is how you can do this. This is how you can do that. And yeah, I filled out some mild stuff, but nothing ever too serious. And, but they never disclosed to me how much per view or how much per however many views or whatever the situation would be. They never explained to me what I would be making, how I would be making it, when, where, whatever. I learned that through the full screen website thing, they pay their creators through a payment threshold of every $50. And also I eventually got emails like updating my monthly earnings and stuff like that. Here's something that bothers me. I got partnered when this video, Girls React to Yaoi, was I would say at like 60, maybe just to be generous, like 70,000 views. It was already, it already had a lot of views. I understand that. It's gotten almost, okay, let's say it had 70,000 views when I got partnered. Right now it is sitting, let me check. Let me, let me get the receipts. My girls react to Yowie video right now, currently as I'm filming this video on April 17th now, at 1.17 in the morning, it has 242,103 views. Saying that, you know, it might have had 70,000 views at first is kind of being a little generous, but that would still account for another, that would account for another 172,000 views. Even with a CPM of $1 per thousand views, I should have made almost $200 off that video. Even, okay, we'll say $120, maybe $130 if the network took 35% roughly. Like, that's being overly generous, but I'm just trying to, you know, like, like overestimate for this. But full screen never once sent me a paycheck. That video was uploaded almost a year ago, and it's gotten 170,000 views in a year, and I haven't made any money. I also have some other videos on my channel, like this puppy video, or this story time, that both have 10,000 views each. A CPM of $1 per thousand views would mean both of those videos would have garnered me, maybe totally together, being $10 each, after everything, maybe $15. Where's my $15? Oh, right next to the money with Girls React to Yowie, sitting in the middle of absolute nowhere. And so like, I never really caused a huge rile about the money thing or emailed anybody because you know, like I'm a small YouTuber. I just figured maybe I'm not reading this correctly. Maybe I'm not, you know, maybe I'm just not right. 
Eventually, I kind of got fed up with this whole kind of like way that full screen was doing things. I try emailing full screen to sort of terminate my partnership. Since that's the wording they used. And I went back in my email to try and find this email that I sent, but I can't find it for some reason. I distinctly remember, and my friend Sammy Speaks here on YouTube can back me up on this, emailing full screen, asking some kind of like, how is, what is my agreement? How is my agreement working? Like, how long is it? When does it expire? Like, can we just, can I just get some information? Never got a response. Never got a response. I just figured, you know, maybe I'm just a small channel. They just really don't care. But I like the benefits of having a network, like being able to use Epidemic Sound, which is a um, royalty-free music service that they pay for you for. I can't use it anymore because I'm no longer a partner. Um, yeah. That's great. So they never emailed me back after the whole me emailing them trying to disconnect myself because my friend Sammy is a partner with another network here on YouTube that I wanted to try and apply with just to try and, you know, like just change. And I couldn't because I was stuck on full screen with no way out and no answers to my questions. So time passes. I just do my uploads. I do gay story times gay sex story times, videos with Casey, videos with Sammy, or makeup videos. That's generally my content, literally like in a nutshell. If you don't know who Casey is, he's my boyfriend for the past four years. Luna! What are you doing? We've done a few videos, we've done a couple chapstick challenges, which mind you, <laughs> each chap thousands of views, haven't gotten paid for it. We've done um, a boyfriend tag, we've done a lot of, we've done a few LA vlogs, we've done, we've done videos together. And they're all cutesy, they're all boyfriendsy, you know, whatever. If you don't know who Sammy is, which I don't know why you're here if you don't know who she is, but if you don't know who Sammy is, she is my best friend here on YouTube and she has over 100,000 subscribers. She kinda, not really the same content because she does more like fashion style and stuff like that, but there have been times where YouTube has fucked me over where she's uploaded the same video that I've uploaded literally exactly to the T. Mine got demonetized, hers didn't. Anyway, so that's my content in a nutshell. Videos with Sammy, videos with Casey, makeup videos, gay story times about sex or just gay. I just don't understand. I literally like don't understand what I did wrong and like there's a lot of LGBT YouTubers who do story times in this screenshot of the email you can see that it says specifically due to the nature of your uploads because your uploads may potentially infringe on the rights of others and potentially violate applicable laws and regulations including without limitation, YouTube's terms of service and or community guidelines, and we feel that it's best to part ways. How do my videos firstly infringe on the rights of others or potentially violate applicable laws or regulations including without limitation, YouTube's terms of service and or community guidelines. Are you telling me that my videos are illegal? Cause... How? I don't understand. I literally talk about how I get fucked by YouTube and other things and whether this eyeshadow blends, but apparently I'm illegal. So now that doesn't add up. So the only other thing in this email that could pertain to them unpartnering me is the nature of my uploads. So now let, let's just trail back a little bit. What were the five things that my content is? Videos with Sammy, Casey, gay story times about sex, and just the gay story times, or just story times in general, and makeup. Now, there are literally millions, well probably not millions, but hundreds of thousands of beauty channels on YouTube. The makeup, not the issue. Sammy has a hundred thousand subscribers and is constantly monetized and still has her network. Not the issue. So that leaves story times, which are mainly gay, the gay sex story times, which are about sex, which I understand the demonetization, but that really doesn't tarnish your image, it tarnishes mine, and videos with Casey. All of which fall under the LGBT umbrella, if you will. Full screen terminated my partnership because I'm gay. Also, can we talk about the fact that they emailed me with a no reply? Like... Stop! 
Even my dog agrees that you don't even have the decency to email me with an actual employee email that I could correspond with and ask questions with or literally that was my dog's tail literally nothing you left me in the dark with a no reply I can't ask you why I can't ask you what videos made you make this decision I can't do anything so all I have to do is come to the conclusion that you f the full screen fired me because I'm gay shots fired like what else can I say? See? In the comments down below, tell me if you think I'm overreacting. I've given you all the evidence. Evidence. I've given you the screenshot of the email and screenshots of my channel. The receipts. I, if I can, I don't know if I can still log into it because I probably can't, but I might be able to dig for some receipts of screenshots of my earnings off of full screen to show that I've made way less than I should have. I was literally making like five to 15 cents a day. And I get between, I haven't been posting for a while. I have another story time coming up on that. I haven't been posting for a while, but I still get like 3000 views a day. So I should still make $3 a day. I've been partnered for over a year. I should have been paid at least, at least for girls react to Yaoi. So yeah, that was my video on why full screen sucks and why they fired me because I'm gay. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. <laughs> so if you guys did like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on that bell because if you don't turn on the bell, YouTube will fuck you in the asshole and not show you I uploaded. So turn on that bell so you know every time I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.